Hello, Leo. Welcome back to There's That Tarot. I hope that you are doing well. Leo, we're just going to see what comes out with this reading. And um, I'm pulling everybody a fortune card. So, you got the number two. I feel like maybe there was something that, I don't know, with this circle, it's not, it's not closed. So, either something isn't over between you and someone or... It doesn't feel like maybe you feel like you don't have closure or something like that. This card says from lovely clover, happiness appears, but only if no dark cloud passes near. One of these is a four leaf clover. Okay. What does this mean? What is the dark cloud? So I think the mission in this reading is to find out what the dark cloud is. And the clover. Okay, I'm here, Leo. What's the clover? What's the dark cloud? For some of you, ooh. Well, there's clearly a more powerful one. One of the energies is clearly more powerful than the other. We got the chariot for the clover. I know y'all like, what is going on? We got the chariot for the clover. And the page of pentacles. Something is like all talk. there's something there's a heartbreak okay there's something that has you looking at yourself you know we all have those situations in our life that humble us i hope y'all follow i'm gonna make it make sense we all have those situations in our life that humble us it's just it was just disappointing enough to make us look at shit differently like okay <laughs> now why did this happen to me right what is this about This was like a, a breakup. This was something that was very hard for you to move on. But this is the clover. This is this is an experience that, believe it or not, okay, what I'm seeing, what I'm getting is something, your happiness is coming from this experience. As crazy as that sounds, right? Now this dark cloud. Ooh. Yeah, Earth sign, Sagittarius, Aries energy is here too. Now this could have something to do. Is this you? Is this someone that you may have had an emotional attachment to? And this could be an earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn. Could be a mother figure as well. This is somebody who's done you wrong, Leo. Or it's like something that you clearly see is wrong for you. This could be a Libra. So there's like this situation that humbled you is what this what it looks like. It's like it helped you to see something possibly about you, about yourself. I didn't even mean to say that or about some things in your life that just I don't know. It's, we all got shit that we haven't wrapped up yet. You know, like I never quite solved that mystery or I don't know. It's like 
we all have these moments where it all makes sense. This could have been one of those moments for you, but it could have been a very painful realization. Okay. And I feel like it brought, I don't know. It brought you to a place where you love yourself more. It's like, it was just, Backstabbing enough to make you turn around and look at yourself like, you know what? I got to do better about me. Something like that. And whatever this dark cloud is, and then we're going to move on. Whatever this dark cloud is. I feel like this music's too loud. Ooh. Be careful. I don't know if someone drinks too much. I'm getting a Nokia. <laughs> Does Nokia still make phones? Somebody needs to stop something about drinking. Don't drink too much. This could be a Libra or somebody in your life. Why is this person coming up? This is a, there's a masculine, I feel, and a feminine connection here. Something that this person has done. <laughs> Something that this person has done. You may feel like somebody's not worried about you. like we had this connection somebody could have they could have been infidelity but it's like I always came back for you what the hell is going on there could have been a lot of oh somebody all right this just took a turn <laughs> now this could be someone's ways it's like as long as you don't repeat the same mistakes and we learn from whatever heartbreak this was, then there was a point to it. But if we go back and do the same thing all over again, then there was no point. And the next time, whatever this realization is, could be worse. Because this, it just took a turn. It just went from like, my heart is so broken about this thing that happened, but it has also made me better. It's changed me, it's humbled me, or it's made me realize something. It's like something shook up somebody's life, right? But we came, you know, we're good. We came out of it with some self-love, possibly even new love. But as long as no dark cloud, it's like as long as I don't repeat the same behavior because there was definitely some foul play. And I don't know if there's like a victim thing going on here or if somebody's just replaying the tape. Like, okay, this is why this happened. Is this what I'm seeing? Yes. Because it's like, damn, this is something that I should have committed to and I wasted a lot of time. Okay. And I don't necessarily, we got three tens. I don't necessarily want it to be over. But it's like, damn, how do we restart this? How do we, you know, one, two, three. I don't know how to bring this back together. And this could be a masculine energy. Virgo, Leo. But then there's this Queen of Swords. There's someone, there's a Queen of Swords here. Could be a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. This person brings a lot of confusion. Okay. It's like he defends it or something like that. And there's someone who's not interested in the fact that that's being defended. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Leo, what's going on in this reading? It's going so many directions. There's someone who's like not interested in the fact that someone's mm, enabling someone's behavior or something like that. It's like, uh. <laughs> 
Somebody knows there's something going on in the background. They could be a Capricorn involved. It's like, I know that there was some reason. Queen of Wands in the reverse. So, what? <laughs> they could be a mess. There's a lot on somebody's mind. And I feel like that's the cloud. It's like, damn, this could have worked out. But I know she was lying about something. But this and that and that and this. And it's like, ooh. Somebody could be very attractive or like abundant. It's like somebody's a beautiful nightmare <laughs> that somebody had to make peace with. And it's like, I cannot do it anymore. I try. Like, I can't go about this in a, like, in a traditional sense. Like, it's like everything I've ever wanted and nothing that I've ever needed in my life. Jesus, what is this, Leo? I've never seen a reading like this. But I felt the need to go with that. And, you know, y'all just tell me how it resonates. And if it doesn't, I hope you enjoyed the show. <laughs> and I'm not laughing at you. I'm just like, what the hell have I been talking about? 11 minutes and 32 seconds. What the hell have I been talking about? <laughs> All right. Leo, I'm going to pull a different deck for you because I don't know if that was all about love. So I'm going to look at the Kipper deck for you because for everyone else I've done love so far, I don't know if that was love. Sudden wealth. Let's go, Leo. Sudden wealth, poverty, gift in the reverse. Somebody may feel okay. Ooh. It's like jackpot. Right at the moment that I needed it. Or perhaps like. One person could have had a lot to bring to the table and the other person didn't have a lot to bring to the table. Somebody could have fumbled like a gift. Something that was supposed to have been received as a gift. And here's another 10. The journey card. I'm getting long distance travel, possibly even on a train. So there could be... I'm about to clarify this because we got great. It, it starts with sudden wealth and it ends with great fortune in the reverse. It's like somebody has, it's almost like somebody hitting the lottery and blowing the money in the first year. And then, and then they got to go back to work. But this could have had something to do with a love relationship. And I feel like it was because of a lot of thoughtless behavior. That I feel like this is the same thing I just saw in the last bread. But it was kind of confusing because it's like, I mean, now I'm hearing, did you do that or what? What is going on? I don't want to post this. I don't want to post this. And I laugh when I feel uncomfortable, so relax. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. It's like somebody couldn't see it. So they decided to give just a little bit and be very weird about their emotions. This is somebody who's very focused on themselves and not a relationship. This person will have <laughs> their mind on their money and their money on their mind. Okay. The Ace of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. This is the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. What is this? This is it. Man, this is it. Who is this? With my mind on my mind. They started with the chariot. They started with... Who, if this could be you. You could have came into somebody's life like a damn wrecking ball. Or like... Somebody... You don't just run up on this type of energy. The chariot, the page of pentacles. This is an innovator. This is somebody who is not focused on love. They were focused on the bag, apparently. 
and I keep hearing like a boss, like a boss, and and it's like somebody couldn't. I don't, what is the two? Somebody may have been in their own little funk, you know. Possibly about some girl they couldn't move on from. <laughs> this Queen of Wands in the reverse is giving some girl you couldn't move on from. And there could have been someone else who hurt them too. <laughs> so somebody, why am I laughing? What is going on? Y'all gonna cuss me out for this video. Okay. I feel like somebody was having a hard time being alone. Even though I feel like they needed some specs. Oh, I feel like this is this is him, right? Showing up. Yes. Somebody showed up with no gas in their tank. I'm talking about they barely made it to the pump. The car cut off as soon as they got to the pump. Just just and they were just as close enough to get the spout in there. They ain't even all the way at the pump. Like where the gas tank. <laughs> Damn, why is it? I'm sorry, y'all. I have a weird sense of humor. Just don't get offended. <laughs> if you were me, you would be like, what the fuck is going on? All right, I'm done. I feel like this is a cross watcher. Or like, anywhere. Somebody's watching. <laughs> I'm not dealing with y'all today. Okay. So it, somebody had a lot that they were trying. It's like they came in in a bad spot. You know, they were running away from what looked like the truth. And, ooh, here's what happened. You, what is the quote? It says, like, you meet your fate whenever you try to avoid it. That's what this is. Somebody, something became real clear to somebody. And they was like, nope, I don't want to see it. And then the green source, like, wait, this is how it looks to me. As soon as they tried to run away, they ran right into the Queen of Swords. And the Queen of Swords said, where you going? I don't know what that's about. Now, this could be, a, there's an air sign. A Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius that's like, nope, look at it. See the truth. Damn, what is going on? It's like, see the truth of, of, of a decision that was made? See the truth of a connection? See the truth of why connections okay from the past it's almost like somebody's like no you have to somebody's coming in like somebody came in and was like look at it <laughs> like made somebody look at their shit and it looks like Someone man, I don't know, it's like Wow. Somebody can get up very early. It's almost like somebody maybe wants to get someone to see who the other person is or something like that. It's like, imagine if I wanted to tell you, like, look at who it is that you're dealing with or something like that. Like, this is who they really are or it's given that too. What is this, Leo? There's like a soothsayer around you or something. It's like somebody who's like, but it's like, it's not like they're coming. So this could be somebody who's a young seer. And they see things. Wow. But it's like they don't know how to control it yet. So it's like they want to prove to you that this is what I'm seeing. But you're like, chill. And it's not until they're old. You know, the old the old heads. But the truth going to hit you anyway. <laughs> the truth going to hit you right in the back of your head. So they just sit. Sorry for tapping. They just going to sit back and see what color the wall going to be next. 
<laughs> the real truth said. The real truth tell us. The ones with experience, they say, honey, it's going to fall apart anyway. That's like the older parents who like, oh, child, honey. She'll be all right. She'll be back. <laughs> you know what I mean? Something like that. But it's like this person's like, no, look at it now. And it's like, you don't have to do that. The truth prevails. This could be a, there could be a Scorpio involved. Something didn't have a foundation. And somebody's like, hey, look. And somebody may have not wanted to hear that. This is, it changed. The story changed. And y'all take it however is resonating. Okay, I'm not doing this with y'all today. Because a lot's happening. So, it feels like it's about to switch again. Something was always connected. Like it never wasn't connected. Or they never weren't. It's like even though nothing was going on, like there was no commitment or there was no real, you know, there was maybe still communication. It's like somebody knows what the right thing to do was or something like that. And I feel like someone cheated themselves out of a great fortune or something that could have been like could have made a lot more sense by not truly investing in it and now someone's moving forward and someone's upset about it and it looks like there's a masculine energy who's upset about it and it's like, now I want to work on it. Now I have this. It's like trying to. It's like that movie scene. Where it's like they get to the door. And they was running so fast to get to this door. You know, they slid up under the bridge. They did all this crazy stunts to get to this door. And it's locked. Oh my God, what is going on? Leo. Heart to heart conversations is in the reverse. And your love life. You two could have had you two could have like a difference like the way you believe things. A lot of times people fall out because they don't communicate well and they don't have the same set of beliefs. There's a lot about healing family issues, but not, it's like a lot needs to be healed, but not enough is being talked about. And there's also maybe this like romantic fling. I don't know if it's a fling or something that just felt very fresh and light. And it's like, I wanted it to go further. And I've kind of lost hope and love because I wanted that to work out. Somebody wanted to have all their cake <laughs> and all the people who helped make the cake and the kids and all the women. <laughs> Somebody wanted it all, okay? Wait your turn, type. I don't want to post this. Children could be involved. Free yourself is in the reverse. What's the advice for Leo? I gotta go, y'all. This is a lot for me. I know this is a lot for whoever's going through this. And I say free yourself. I say free yourself. And if you already did, keep going. Keep going. Nine of Wands in the reverse. I don't know if this is worth fighting for. Whatever this is. 
this emperor? Take control of the situation. Somebody had, feels like they have unfinished business with this person. There's still hope. They're showing up as a king. There's desire here. Fear talks this person out of this. What's the advice for Leo? But somebody still struggles walking away from something. It's like, damn if I do, damn if I don't. I'm scared to do it. And I'm, a, I'm, I'm afraid to not. What's the advice? Ten of Cups, Five of Swords. I think you need to unplug for a while. That truth that somebody was walking we in with the, with the strength card at the bottom of the deck. Now, this could be strength and walking away. Is this strength and walking away? No, actually. I think the problem was that somebody was running away from this truth a while ago. And they ran right up into that Queen of Swords, which is the truth, you know. And so... I think that was the problem in the first place. I think that may have been the problem in the first place. Was running away from that truth. And I feel like they just uh, ran up on a whole lot of unnecessary, you know, obstacles. But their strength. And you being able to turn around, you know, you know how strong you've become when you can turn around and reject the very thing that you that that may have caused you such a deep feeling of rejection or it's like that humbling moment, whatever that was. The dark, the dark cloud has something to do with running away from that truth, if that makes any sense. Whatever the behavior was that got me here is what needs to change. From lovely clover, happiness appears, but only if no dark cloud passes near. And it has something to do with the connection. A more truthful way you know the the most the simplest the the right answer is always the simplest one it's at least common practice honesty you know but it's always the right answer you know it just reminds me of like i had a friend who you know had fallen in love with another woman and he was married and um you know he had tried everything to you know tell his wife that uh, i don't know if i can do this no more and all this kind of stuff and you know the the thing about it is people need closure and you can't you can't necessarily give a person closure but the truth because uh, the thing about a lie is it don't feel like the truth because it's not it's always gonna bother you you know what I mean? The best thing you can do for a person is tell them, baby, I'm not in love with you no more, honey. We had a great time. I appreciate everything. I know you're going to be mad. You want to throw shit at me right now. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, like, think about your karma. Think about your children. You know, all these little lies and all this bullshit we be taking everybody through because we're, we're really cowards. We can save ourselves and, and, and our children and a lot of people a lot of trouble. If we just turn around and face those truths. Face, face those truths. As hard as they may seem. As sucky as it may feel. As bad as it may hurt the other person. In that moment. The, the truth is short. It's a short pain. But them lies. That's what drags on and drags on. And, and karma, 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 karma. You know what I'm saying? Leo. Y'all have stressed me out. And we brought it back down. Let go of control issues. And maybe this is like a real for whoever this is for. It's like this moment may feel like sucky. You know what I mean? Because it does suck. Change like changing and growing up and all that. It's, it's uncomfortable. 
but look at it as I'm right on track. This is exactly what I was supposed to hear today. This is exactly where I'm supposed to be and, and I'm going exactly where I'm supposed to be going. And don't beat yourself up. <laughs> I love you, Leo. Like, share, and subscribe if this resonated with you and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.